Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at the Kuat Sherpa 2.0 2 bike platform rack here on our 2019 Honda Passport. So this is a very popular bike rack just because it has a very smooth design, it looks great, and it can carry bikes of different shapes and different sizes. So we'll talk about those features, but we're gonna focus on our Honda Passport here just to see how it works with the vehicle, how many people this is designed for, and if you can still open up your hatch. So let's talk about that. That way you can get the best fit for you, your different types of bikes, and your Honda Passport. So this has a tilt away feature. So even if your bikes are on there, you could just pull this lever and then let that bike rack drop down to a tilt. Why would you do this? Well, if you wanna open up your hatch with your bikes on. So you can see here, we can open this up and we have plenty of clearance between our door, our handlebars and our pedals. Even if we had the larger pedals or the longer handlebars, we'll still have clearance there. That way we can grab our large items. Let's say like our coolers, our bags, our helmets. You have a lot of cargo space in your passport, so it is nice to have those accessories that allow you to access that cargo. Well, we have a carbon fiber frame bike, perfectly fine because we have a front wheel mount. But also if we have your women's bikes, your children's bikes, or your step through bikes, for those other racks that have a frame clamp, you may have to get an adapter bar. With this, you don't have to get any of those adapters just because of those two touch points. Now that second touch point is gonna be the rear wheel strap. And when you wanna take your bike off, you start at that strap by just pressing this button and that releases the strap so you can take this out. And I like to just tuck it over to the side so it doesn't get in the way of our spokes. Now we're gonna move over to the front and hold on to your bike as you press this button and then you lift up on that front wheel mount and then you push it out. And from here, it's just a slight lift and you are now ready to go for your bike ride. With the bike off, let's talk about the capacities of this rack now that we can see it a little bit more clearly. Now you do have that 40 pound weight capacity for your slightly heavier bikes. You also have this tilting rear cradle for your bikes of different shapes and different sizes. So if you have longer wheelbases, the maximum wheelbase you can carry this is gonna be up to 40 inches. And you also have those different grooves on the inside of those cradles. And that's for your different tire widths. The maximum tire width you can carry with this is gonna be up to three inches. So if you have extra heavy electric bikes over 40 pounds, or you have extra wide fat bike tires over three inches, probably not gonna be the best fit for you you may wanna check out something like the Rocky Mounts Monorail instead, but for most of your bikes, this is gonna be great, especially with that front wheel mount. This is a compact bike rack, which means it doesn't take up too much space, but let's take some measurements to see exactly how much length does it add to the back of our passport. So we have a new hitch on here, which sticks out a good amount. So measuring from our bumper to the end of the rack, it sits at 32 inches. That's a measurement to remember when you're backing into your garage or trying to park into a tight spot to make sure you have enough space. Another measurement is ground clearance. And ground clearance will be measured at the end of the rack to the ground. This is at 21 and a half inches. Compare that to where our hitch is though. And our shank sits at 13 and a half inches. So we have a little bit of a shank rise where our bikes sit higher up off the ground. In fact, your bikes are going to be sitting 23 and a half inches off the ground, so almost two feet. If you have extra heavy bikes, you wouldn't want to be lifting them super high up. So if you are maxing out the weight capacity, you got 40 pound bikes, or if you have your heavier electric bikes, that's when you start looking at bike racks that have a ramp too. This does not have a ramp, so just remember that. Now, what if you're not planning on going out for a bike ride just yet, or you want a smaller footprint so you can store this in your garage. What you can do is you can fold this rack up. So see this lever we pulled earlier? We'll pull that again, but this time lift up on the rack. It's relatively lightweight, very easy to do, and now we have it in the compact or portable position. So with it folded up like this, we have plenty of clearance between the car. In fact, from the bumper to the front wheel mount, it's three and three quarter inches, so no worries about clearance there. Now you will not be able to open up your hatch with it folded up. 
The length this now adds to the back of our car is from the bumper to where this knob is, 13 and a half inches, although the trays are only eight inches away. So definitely a lot more low profile compared to when this is folded down. You'll want to install this on your car in your garage in this position because it's just a lot easier that way. This looks really good on our Honda Passport. We do have the Kuwait Sherpa in gray, and then you have those orange accents. You can also get this in metallic black or in pearl, just depending on what your look is. With it folded up like this, notice how obviously our rear window is completely visible. Our taillights are visible as well. But what's really cool is look where our license plate and our backup camera are. They sit above the bike rack, so when you're backing up, even with a bike rack on, you'll still have that full view behind you. Plus, let's say you're holding your bike with one hand, you can just step on this lever with the other and just bring this back down in case you want to access your hatch real quick. The install process is super easy too. It's tool free, which means you just pop this in, you put your hitch pin and your lock and secure that. And then instead of having to use a wrench or a socket to tighten things down, you just have this knob. So this, when you turn this, it expands a ball cam on the inside of your shank, creating an anti-rattle effect. To demonstrate, I shake our bike rack back and forth, even at the bike rack itself, and the car is just moving because that connection is nice and secure. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Now lastly, we're going over some full speed bumps and you can see here the up and down action and this will just be like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage or driveway. So we can see here how the bike rack moves with our truck. So my personal thoughts about the Kuat shirt, but is it's definitely one of my favorite bike racks just because of its versatility and it still looks really good. It's lightweight enough where you can just keep it inside of your garage, but you have a good capacity for most of your bikes. Just remember, if you have over 40 pound bikes, you may want to consider the Rocky Mounts monorail instead or even the Yakima on-ramp if you want the added ramp, as well as if you have those wider fat bike tires. Other than that, the Kuat Sherpa is definitely a solid choice. And that was a look at the Kuat Sherpa 2.0 here on our 2019 Honda Passport.